Today we are installing the MTech clutch spring on the GR86. Should be a pretty easy install. It's all pretty straightforward. It looks like it's just a C clip or E clip, whatever you want to call it, as well as pushing the little rod that holds everything together out with a punch. So I've got pliers, hammer, 90 degree pick, and a punch. If you got, there is a clutch spring inside of these cars. It's supposed to just help with making the clutch lighter to use. I like a heavier, almost manual clutch feel. So we'll see if this mod's actually worth it. Once you get into the car, look at the clutch pedal. Then if you come up, right there is the clutch spring. And if you look, let me zoom in and see if I can see it. There on the right side, more towards the gas pedal, you can see the C-clip. We'll just pull that out with a 90 degree pick. To get it out, just push up on it and it'll bounce out. Typically it lands on the floor mat, but do your best to keep track of it, not to lose it. And then from there, you've got the end. And you just line up a punch on there and hit it out. I'm not going to record it just because my GoPros are dead and I'm recording this with my phone. But I can kind of show you guys the end result. Alright, so I ended up just using a pry bar. It's way easier than trying to get in there with a pick and a hammer. Once you start to get it out... I ended up just using a pry bar. It's easier to get in there than the hammer and pick. Once you get it out most of the way, when you pry it out, it'll kind of get into there. You can get the pry bar in there and get it out a majority of the way or all of the way. If you can't get it with the pry bar, just grab your pliers and pull it out. And there you have it. That is the factory spring and all of the components pretty easy to get out honestly the hardest thing is getting in there if you leave the seats in but all in all one of the easier installations to do so the mtech spring comes with zip ties i already put them on there that's to compress the new spring when you go to put it on the factory bracket to replace the factory spring. I'm going to check the car and see how well I like it without a spring in there. And then if I like it, honestly, I'm not even going to put the spring in. I'll just keep these as spares in case I change my mind. So just from using the clutch pedal, not even driving yet because the car's warming up, it feels way better with no spring. So far, I like it enough that I don't plan on putting the actual clutch spring in, but we'll see after I do a quick test drive. So after doing the test drive with no clutch spring inside of the car, I've decided I'm just not going to put the aftermarket spring in. The only thing I do not like about running no spring, obviously, the springs have tension so with no tension the first little hair of clutch pedal is essentially dead pedal you can feel just a little bit of play but other than that i love it it's a consistent feel it's just way more fun to drive it feels more in sync with the car but if you do decide to put the new spring in just put the zip ties on it crank them down a little bit to give you some extra room with the spring compressed pop this guy back in and undo the steps that you did it's pretty simple pretty straightforward it took all of 
maybe five minutes to get it out and that's with recording grabbing tools and then call it five ten minute test drive just to see if i liked it or not so 10 out of 10 recommend doing it if you don't put a spring back in it's a free mod it's a free mod to make the car easier to drive and more fun to drive like i said it makes it more stiff but not by much you can definitely feel the clutch engagement a lot more and my favorite part about it is the clutch feel is consistent so the clutch itself when you push in and come out it's the same amount of pressure the whole time thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one